When I visited Coach Charlie Brand in his Orange County group recently, I was very impressed with how he organized what he called a pre-practice. And this is a 30-minute session that the players use uh, to work on specific areas of their game. And you'll see as we go through this pre-practice that the players are very active, get lots of touches, and Charlie is organizing, or maybe I should say orchestrating, the whole thing. He goes from court to court on both sides, constant feedback, and he has assistants running the the, the skill set drills that he happens to be working on. What was most impressive was, one, the level of organization, two, the quality and level of feedback, and three, the amount of times the players actually touch the ball. So here you see on one side, you'll have the middles working on, on footwork to the outside. On this side, the, the setters are working on the release um, and uh, handball contact with weighted balls. And you'll see as you go through this, there's very few times when people are just standing and watching. Both sides are active, and it's organized where, you know, on one side a group might be hitting while on this side the group is setting. So they can work independently and work on a lot of things without uh, impinging on the other side's activity. So this was a wonderful thing, and, and like I said, this was all done 30 minutes prior to practice. This, this wasn't even part of their practice, you know, in terms of the formal two-hour time block. Um, you know, so Coach Brand has done a wonderful job in terms of, of, you know, how do we get kids to be good within their position, giving them some extra contact. So, um, you know, as, he, as we go through this, you'll see, you know, a little bit of what Charlie espouses in terms of technique, uh, but more importantly, you know, listen to what he's teaching in terms of skill development. And you've got to be assisted to hit this. You've got to be so much more efficient with your arm, so much quicker with your arm. So you want you want them doing lift? Yeah, we lift in front, and it's more of a, a body torque, core torque that, that create and the, and the wrist that creates it. You gotta explode up to it, lift up to it, lift up to it. Pass a little more in the middle. A little more, I mean, a little more on the right there. Faster, girls. Let's go. We're walking, aren't we? Let's go. Both arms up. Both arms up. Pass, girls. Just like you're hitting the pass. That's it. Just like you're hitting the pass. Steph, let's go down, up. Down, up. You're up. You're like this the whole way. Down, low, up. Up to it. Throw your arms up to it. Left side blocker, just stand there. You could be on the, you could be at the antenna, or you could be right next to your sister. Okay, we got two hitters going. Read right here. Going, one's going step out, one's going slide. Watch the block. One's going step out, one's going slide. We're, okay, so we'll see where Tristan is. And set accordingly. Okay, here we go. Heavy balls down there, girls. Thank you. Oh, wrong choice. You know what? Let her come in. Let her come in like she's back right. Start, start over here a little further out. Now come in. Go, go. Here we go. Watch her as you're coming in. See where she is? Good. Try it again. Kira. So the, listen, the slide hitter needs to be a half step behind the step out hitter. So come on in. So she's going, I need to be here. Riga, are you listening to me? Because I'm right here. So she goes up and then I go up. I don't want to be ahead of her because then that ball's got to get there faster. That makes sense? You got to be a step behind her. Coach, we're ready? You ready? Oh, now we can see her with that green shirt on. We can see her. Oh, Wait, where get, to I get to it. You want to get to it up here above your right shoulder. Look where my hand is. My hand's over here top, on top of your head. You want to catch it over here on your right shoulder. You feel what you're doing? Yeah, Wait. 
Wait, wait, with your arms out too early. Go, quick! Okay. Quick! On top of it, on top of it. I'll go over it again. I want you to toss it from right here, get outside and hit. Did you speak English? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Have we hit step outs already, Jess? Have you hit step outs already? Okay. Kaylin, it's a good thing it wasn't a shot put, isn't it? That would have hurt. Forces you to reach higher and contact the ball. A lot of people, this helps their left side hitting because they learn to reach much higher on the right side. Okay, so get over the line, you're, that's what we're gonna hit. Okay? Defend against the one as it comes back at you. They need to go, no, no, no. One. So girls, girls, as you're moving, as you're moving, both middles and lefts, look at the setter and look at the hitter. If Kalen turns and runs, turns and runs, what do you have to defend? So you can pick that up by just watching what she does. If Kalen backs off to here, what do you have to defend? Watch the hitter, watch the setter. Now, what was her angle? What, what did she do? Okay, so watch the angle of the hitter. What are you saying, Yardley? You took your eye off, you didn't look. So, so yeah, that's good. So. Looks familiar, Charlie. I've spent a few years with you. <laughs> yes, she, the smell is familiar, right? Yep.